Welcome back, everybody. Third and final friendly of our fourth season. I am Ryan Roth. This is the Newport County Career Mode. We're hosting FC Utrecht from Holland. Here's the lineup because they're not going to show it otherwise. Alsop is in goal. Three in the back. Jugu, Feely, and Hughes just getting all of them a game. Four in the midfield. Right side is Isgrove, O'Kane, and Chapman in the middle. On the left features the new guy, Harold Schachner, and he's just made a bit of a mistake by completely leaving his man unmarked. Cutting inside, don't know why. Up front we have... Oh dear, that's a good ball. Oh, well dealt with. And here's a chance for a counter. Up front we have Georgie Thomas, Lyle Taylor, and leading the line, Rick Ten Board. Oh, he stopped his run. All right. On the bench, I'm going to need a second to look because it's been a while since I've had a chance to set this lineup up. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, it's just been beaten for pace. Oh, that's a nice touch from... Oh, the touch from Taylor was just too far. I would have hammered it through that gap for Thomas or, or Tenvord or whoever was down there. Frenetic pace to start this match. Oh, man's gone down. Long shot over the bar. Okay. On the bench, we have Stanek, Moutinho, Jackson, Young, Leonard, Delfonso, and Apaya. I tried to get as many of the players who haven't already played yet in preseason. I tried to get them on the field or on the bench so that they can feature slow reactions. Ball down the line. I don't want Jugu to go there. No, I would. Fired across. Feely deals with it. Not a bad touch from Taylor. Oh, that ball's just over hit. I don't think Tenboard had the speed for it either. Um, so a little bit of transfer activity in the last few days. Uh, the counter offer that we sent out for Elliot Richards was accepted, and he has officially been sold. Oh, that's a mistake. Lyle Taylor. Oh, it fell to him. Chapman from range. It's over the bar. Elliot Richards is officially sold to Yeovil. And uh, I went ahead and released... James Robson and Ishmael Yakubu. There were no offers for them coming in, and they were towards the end of their contract, so it didn't cost me that much. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. Our squad is down to a more manageable like 36 players, uh, as opposed to like 40 it was at before. So that's what we've sold. I think sold four so far, released two, and only brought in two. So. We are set. Ooh, Feely getting beat onto the header there, but Alsup was available to take control of that. Schachner on the ball. Let's drop that back. No time for heroics yet. Jugu needs some support. Here's Chapman in the middle. Oh, go on. Schachner's got some space on the left. He needs support, though. Looking inside. Tenvord might be onside. No, it's going to be a foul at the top of the box. Shockner was taken down late, and it looks like a card going to come out as well. A yellow for the Utrecht right back. Sarpong booked for the late tackle. Yep, just flying in. Doesn't catch him too hard, really. Okay, is going to whip this in. Feely and Tenvord along with Taylor is in there. So just pop this up and in. That's going to go too far. Uh, keep forgetting how long these little cross balls go when you're at a free kick. Ooh, we're playing West Brom next in the Capital One Cup. We finally start getting these little notes uh, now that we're in the championship. They don't do that um, for the lower two tiers in England, but they do it for the championship. So from here on out, we will know the next match before it comes. Better works out. Two Welshmen here combining. Oh, Thomas just stopped his run. They're like, hey guys, give me the ball. I'm going on the best run we've seen so far this game. And then they just stop. Uh, both of the other attackers just ran behind defenders. Oh, Shackman's got in. Chapman's got recover. Come on, come on. Someone help. There it is, out to Schachner. 
First time cross ball looking to Georgie Thomas. He got to it as well. Unfortunately, not solid contact. It fell straight to the keeper. Hughes just touches that down to Jugu. Uh, need some help. They're really pressing it hard. Oh, that was overhit. That was way overhit. Big switch. Shackner. That's good play there. Just heads it all the way back to Alsup. Quick release now. Taylor looking forward. And it's laid back to Shockner, who's already made that run down the left. He is looking wrecked already. Oh, ball in. It's Conan on target. So the run from Thomas to the back post. It wasn't completely well placed, but if the keeper wasn't alert there, it would have ended up in the net. Shugu intercepts. And they've condensed the field a little bit. Here's some running to bring it wide. Let's just have... I go back. Now Chapman. Uh, they just can't find O'Kane. Every ball to him must be overplayed. But he's done well to win it back, the Irishman. The There's no one up in support, though. Tries to cut around. He's got a touch. And oh, he's won it back. Has a dig from range. And it's held by the keeper. If he didn't, I'm sure it would have fallen the 10 board for an easy tap in. I think the front line has been doing fairly well at creating chances. And Utrecht's defense has been shaky. Bit nice movement in midfield, though. And they're just pressing them into some maybe some midfield mistakes. That's some better movement. Chapman almost getting in. In behind. Oh, it's been blocked in a funny place. And they cleared it. Georgie Thomas somehow stands on the ball. It goes the opposite direction. Physics say it should, and it was a foul. The ball in. A little funny touch, and it's in the net. I don't think they've deserved it. I don't think it was legit, but somehow they got a goal. Some big bald guy up front. Let's see exactly what happened. And then this ball through the middle. Hughes got the right side of his mouth. I have no idea how he got that shot off. He was behind Hughes. And then Hughes made no attempt to get that, so doesn't really look good for Andrew Hughes at the moment. He's made a mess of that one. Oh, come on. Passing has been just atrocious. Going behind it just before halftime is not our style. We normally score goals right before. It's a good tackle from Schachner. Taylor. Through the gap. Tenvoord doesn't have the pace. Thomas was held up. Well, Tenvoord's won it back, though. Needs some kind of support. There is none, though. Here's O'Kane. Into a pocket. Has a shot. Well wide. And that's halftime. So it's some encouraging play up front. Some weak defensive play, and that's why we're behind. But honestly, it is a really weak defense. I mean, Feely and Hughes are two lowest-rated defenders. And Zhugu, I think, is tied for that next position. So, yeah, the defense is a bit weak. We are only playing three. Utrecht are probably the strongest opponents we've played in preseason. So we're taking a lot of risks. This is not a strong squad. So, yeah, I suppose I shouldn't be too uh, disappointed at the result. So we can get it back maybe after we make some subs bring on a few stronger players. I have been impressed with uh, Schockner. He's putting a lot of work. Not, you know, nothing great on the ball but his work rate to you know, make tackles at the back and then be the first one making the runs forward up front. That's a nice little chip in behind. And he's managed to clear away, but only to a defender. Hughes has not had a good time. And it goes. Feely loses his man, and the defense lets us down again. 
They've got one good target striker. I mean, watch Feely. He's right on top of him there, and then just lets him walk off, and then runs past him. No attempt to block the shot, block the run. He just kind of stands off to the side. Eh, poor defending. We do have better defenders, though. That's a terrible ball. Their passing is just so much quicker. I mean, they are a fairly decent um, Dutch side. They're you know somewhere mid the top of the table. On, lots of players forward. We are, have lots of players in the middle, but no one out marking them, marking the men. It's just really well, bad defending. Philly so goes to ground for no ball, reason. Cross comes done. into the back post. Also wins it. Rolls it forward to Ten Voord. It's a nice little ball to Thomas. Trying to find some space. He's taken one too many touches. Wouldn't get the ball away at first asking. All right. As soon as we get the ball out, we need to make some subs. This team just isn't working. Well in from Jugu. Feely tries to pop it over the top. It wasn't deep enough for Taylor to run onto. It's just giving it away. This Grove hasn't had really, really had a chance to get into this game. He's done okay. O'Kane has been good. Good movement to get to it. Switch there from Chapman. Schachner in space. He's just going to bring it forward. Needs some kind of support. No one's making any kind of movement except for Ten Board. Here's Chapman. Big switch. Wasn't looking for Thomas, was looking for uh, Isgrove. All right, let's just sub now. All right, um, let's throw Moutinho in the back for Feely. He has just been really poor. Uh, what else? I think we. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I don't have a left mid, do I? I want one though, because Shockner is a bit wrecked. Delfonso can do it, so we'll throw him out there and see what he can make happen. We'll hold on to the last sub for just another minute. It's time for the substitutes, I think. Ball in behind. Feely's lost again. Ball squared. And it's Feely. You're garbage. You go out on loan and lose skills? How do you lose that header? I mean, Schockner should have been goal side of his man. I don't know what the excuse is there. And he's running away from the man with the ball, which is just poor. Goal. It's been all defensive screw-ups. 3-0 is really generous to Utrecht. They've only had three chances, and uh, three... Oh, that was a poor shot. Didn't catch that one at all. I do remember Georgie Thomas scoring up. Oh, there's a foul call. I'm like, why are my players stopping running? It looks like it's another foul call to to give a sub, which has happened a lot recently. I don't know why. Touch in behind. The defense has sort of done it. Martinia now. Fired forward now to Delfonso. In behind, that's a nice ball. But Taylor just not trying. He, that was a half-hearted run towards the ball. He really should have been doing a bit more. Same again. A late tackle on Taylor. Referee not interested in the slightest. Referee seemed to be on top of his game at that yellow card earlier on. But since then, he's just been lazy. Let's see if we can make that last change. I think I'll pull out O'Kane. He has played in every game so far. Do I want? And Young and Leonard have both featured in previous games, so let's let's just leave him on. Thomas hasn't been involved. Let's throw Apaya up. See if we can utilize his pace. Get in behind. Yeah, that, that change just happened. I suppose. Oh, not done. We've got Apaya. In behind, <laughs> ball was weak, and the recovery was even weaker. 
And the marking is just the worst ever. Literally Hitler today, I think. I mean, Moutinho's just left his man to run. In it comes. Andrew Hughes does enough that time. Kane again in with a tackle. Oh, he's in again. Here we go. It's 4v2. Switched. Taylor has... Oh, the ball's short. That, that should have been a goal. And Chapman can't put a header in the right spot. Why is Isgrove coming all the way into the center of midfield? He's got, I had a mark out there. But he just won't. Ball across the middle. Moutinho missed it. What a save from Alsup. Also, really hasn't had a save to make. Every goal that they've scored, it was the guard, the defending was so bad that they left him completely without a chance. Ten board now with a run forward. There is no support coming with him. Go on, go, go, go. There we go. Sort of. Got Delfonso joining down the left. There you go. That's not a bad ball. Back to a pia. Oh, he's in a good position, but he's just. Swiped at it, weaker foot all the way past the goal. But the movement and the passing is encouraging. The finish wasn't there, but it's good movement. If we can see that from our better players, well, despite the best efforts of the losing team, oh, what are you doing? Always been a task too much for them, and the winner has all been right. pretty clear cut. <sighs> The pa a little tap pass, and they can't manage it. I wanted that just a second ago. And they can't stay ball side of a pass? What is wrong with them? They There's no foul there. I don't know what he's seeing. Isgrove is back marking no one again. There's that's a problem with my wingers. They don't mark anywhere intelligently. Well in from Chapman, but he's prevented from actually winning the ball. That's a real tussle for the ball. Here's Taylor. Well, that's a nice pass. Paya now with one to beat if he can do it. He didn't try it. So he tries to go straight through and not a second of stoppage time given. To lose 3 0, it was a really weak side I put out, especially in defense, and it showed. They were. Ugh, it, it, so bad. Uh, those players will probably never play again, it, to be fair, at least not together. We might throw Hughes or Feely out there if they don't get sold um, for a game or two, but they are not our strongest defenders, and they've proved that today. The attack needed some work, but it was much more inspired than the defending. We got a, a really unlucky on a lot of things, but really poor defending was the story of that game. Thanks for watching. Not really the best way to end the preseason, but next match against West Brom should be much more exciting. I've rested most of the big players for that game, and let's hope we can do a lot better. I will see you guys then.